Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome to Melda242. I am Ramelda. Today we are having lobster pasta with barbecue chicken. If you want to see how I do this, then I suggest you continue watching. Let's do it. Okay, I am adding one package of this tri pasta to this boiling water. This is the pasta with three colors. Okay, now they're gonna cook until they are al dente or firm to the bite. I don't want them smushy, you know. They're gonna be cooked, but just right. That's the meat of one large lobster. And to that, I'm going to add some bell pepper, onions, and celery. Okay, I'm just waiting for this to finish up. You can always test it with a fork. Here are all of the ingredients, the seasonings that I'm going to add, and also a package of green cut beans, frozen green cut beans. Now, if you don't have all of these seasonings, just use whatever you have. It will taste good, I'm sure. Okay, the pasta is finishing up. Lobster has already been cut up, chunked up. And it's just waiting. Everything is just waiting patiently to be added. Okay, I've already drained off the water. Now, reducing the heat. Getting this ready for everything else. Okay, I'm adding the lobster meat first. That's the chunks. All of that goodness. Now, you can do this. You can also make this with chicken or tuna, whatever meat you have, turkey, work it, pork, whatever you have you can make it, you can put it in this pasta, same ingredients, different meat, or you can even make it meatless, this is a meal all by itself right here, everything is in this. Bind everything together gently. Now you don't want to be so rough with it to break up the lobster. You still want to keep chunks in it, pieces of it in it. Now I'm just getting my seasonings together. All right. This is the green, cut beans, cut green beans, frozen. So my daughter and her kids, husband, everybody's here. I am going to stretch this today with this bean, this entire bag. All right, everybody can get some of it. This is lunchtime here at the Thompson's, here on Melda 242. We are having lobster pasta with green beans and barbecue chicken. How does that sound today? Okay, this is frozen, so the heat will get to that in a minute. I am just working it. I'm still bringing the restaurant home, by the way. So you know, a little fancy. Now, this is some paprika. Add some of that. Be sure to check out the description box. Now, I will list everything below in the description box for you. Garlic powder. This is not the salt, this is the powder, no salt. Alright, whatever you don't want in the in your pasta, you don't have to put. Now you know what I always say, feel free to add, multiply, subtract or divide. Whatever you don't want, just leave it out. Whatever you want more of, just add it on in. It's a little bit of pepper flakes, just to jazz it up. Mrs. Dash, she has a little lemon in it, so I'm using that instead of the lemon just to add a little citrus to the loves the meat. This is dash is finished. Now this is the only salt that I'm adding. Garlic salt with parsley flakes. Alright. Now this and remember you're seasoning this to taste. Don't go overboard with the salt. Less is always best. 
Yes, it's always best, always best. Mix gently, let's go. Mix them up together. Bringing the rest around home. So now I have a pot full of lobster pasta. I, put the, I added the entire bag of green beans. I know the kids wouldn't eat them just if I were to just add them on the side, so I added in. So they will be eating these and don't even know that they're eating them. Oh my word. All right. So I'm just combining everything before adding the mayo. I'm trying to melt down, throw out the green beans. Okay. I'm going to allow that to simmer, turning the stove down on low. So that's going to simmer with the cover on. And then I'm going to allow it to cool before adding the mayo as much as I can. I had to go ahead and do it because hubby is saying the chicken is ready. He's outside on the grill, on the terrace doing the chicken. So. It's not cooled all the way, so we're going to have a hot pasta today. Hot lobster pasta. Oh my word. Normally you would allow it to cool down some more. Because the mayo is just going to sweat right off, fall right off. But it's still going to be in there. You won't see it. It's going to be in there on it. Just want the flavor in an event. Like I said, this is a meal all by itself. Oh my word. That's it right there. Loves the pasta. Oh my word. Looks delicious already. Now I'm going to pause for a few moments right here to send a shout out to Shania. My niece sent this and she said, Aunt, Auntie, please send her a shout out. She watches you like church. So, Shania, this is your moment. Thank you very much for being my number one fan. God bless you. Okay, here is the chicken. My hubby has them all ready and that's a serving. Look at it. Barbecue chicken with lobster pasta thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end if you have enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up share it out leave a comment don't forget to check out the description box now god bless you and i will see you i will see you in the next one watch the ads now